1500 meter champ, how's it feel? Oh, so good. Yeah, that was super fun. That last lap was just fun. Yeah. <laughs> Talk a little bit about the past few years coming into this race. Yeah. You, kind of, you know, you made the team young early on in your career. You kind of had a little injury plagued few years. Talk about how you've been able to get back to this point. Yeah, I mean, making the team in 2019 was like incredible. It was my rookie year, you know. And then um, COVID hit, you know. And I actually, I've never, I haven't been injured as a pro. I honestly just like had a lot of mental health setbacks and like um, a lot of doubt. And like, I feel like this past year, I moved to flag, you know, I signed with Lemon. I've just been building this like, kind of building my confidence back to the whole, whole journey back. But um, today feels really good. <laughs> What's been something you've been focusing on to like put away that doubt and, you know, trust who you are and trust yeah, yeah, your yeah. ability? Um, I think just leaning into the people um, and things that bring me happiness and like, um, you know, have a lot of patience. The sport is brutal. Like, um, you win some and you lose a lot more and, you know, not getting too, I don't know, not, not getting like too set back when you lose, you know, just kind of staying even keel and, you know, never make the highs too highs or the lows too lows, I think has been really big for me this past like six months. Yeah. Have you learned that success is a lot more percentage mental than it is just physical? Okay. Absolutely. Like when I made the, I, looking back in 2019, like compared to the workouts I'm doing now, like I was loving it, you know, I think it was purely like so confident and like believe, believe in myself and like, um, you know, I think I'm getting back there, so it's, it's exciting. What expectations are you putting on yourself going into uh, the outdoor season? Um, kind of like, you know, Mike Smith is my coach, and he's very, like, zen guru guy, and um, it's kind of like no expectations, like, really just looking at everything as an opportunity, you know, not, like, try to, to not be outcome-oriented and just, like, go in to, like, have fun. And, you know, we have an incredible job, like, lean into that and have fun. <laughs> How long have you been with Mike Smith for? Um, in, uh, it's been a year, so like March, February of last year, yeah. What's that like, obviously you know what he's doing with his NAU team and yeah. Rachel's running well yeah, under yeah. him and maybe yeah. Woody might start training with him, we don't know about that, but yeah, yeah. What, what's that vibe like in flag under Mike? It's awesome, like um, we, we don't call it a group, we're just individuals who, who have the same coach, but uh, <laughs> no, it's awesome. I mean, Rachel's such an inspiration to me and like she's so wise. And Ellie Hennes is, is in our little group too. and. Um, yeah, it's really good vibes, and like I, my, I think my weakness in this event is strength. I always, you know, that third lap is the hardest for me, and so moving to him, I'm like, I've really like kind of conquered that weakness, and I'm really building my like aerobic base of a flag. Yeah. What do you think it's going to take PR-wise to be a top three individual to Man. make the team? I, it's just getting faster and faster, and like. Um, I don't know, I think low fours, like even high three, nine, like I think you have to go into the outdoor meet, be in sub four shape, and then just like have a good day. Yeah. Well, best of luck outdoors. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Vicky.